Hello everybody, in this video we will continue our journey to be certified as a professional cloud security engineer from Google Cloud and today we will speak about firewall rules we can start by going to the Google Cloud console and go to the VPC network we can see here that we have a default VPC network which is the default one uh, VPC stands for virtual private cloud so when we create a new uh, Google Cloud project, we will create for us the default virtual private cloud that allows the network connectivity between our uh, all our resources on uh, Google Cloud. Uh, for security reason, it prefer to create a new VPC for our production uh, environment. So I will click here create a new VPC network. We can give it any name, maybe I call it Project X and uh, it's important to specify the, the sub-network in our VPC so I will say give it a name US Central 1 and it's uh, also important to give it an IP range and this way uh, we have we have to choose the region I will choose US Central 1 so this way we have created a virtual private cloud with one uh, uh, region okay one sub network in one region okay what is important to me now is the firewall rules here we can see here uh, a six firewall rules when I click select all we can see there is no a checkbox here why? because the last two firewall rules are applied implicitly to our VVC so let's see what these two firewall rules make uh, the last one here it's allow all egress traffic from our VVC resources to the outside world this is IP range mean all, all the IP in the in the world so in the egress direction in the out direction our resources are allowed to are allowed to send to send the traffic to all IP in the world this is uh, firewall rules make something else is denying all ingress traffic to our VBC resources it deny all types of traffic that coming from all the IP in the world to our resources it's in the in direction okay so this two one will be applied to our VBC this four we are having the option to choose them if they are suitable to our VBC or not something like this uh, uh, firewall rules it's allow the SSH the secure shell protocol so we, we, we see we see here it's in in direction it's in the in direction and allow the traffic that come from all the IP in the world to port 22 this port is the port of the SSH so if we are having uh, Linux machines and want to allow the secure shell we have to click uh, on this role okay if we have Windows machine and want to make a remote desktop protocol and use it to access our machine and control it we have to also choose this one so in this rule we are allowing all the IP in the wallet okay to send the traffic so it's in the end direction to our VBC resources to which board to this board, this board representing the remote desktop protocol okay if we have no windows machine we do not need to click and choose uh, this firewall rules also if we want to allow the ICMB to be sent from all the IP in the world and allow it, allow it to, to send the traffic in the end direction to our VBC resources we will click in this one ICMB 
include the ping which is the echo request and the echo reply and also include uh, trace route and so on lastly if we want to allow the traffic inside our VPC this firewall rule allowing all, ty all the types of the traffic to be sent inside the VPC so the IP range here is 10.10.1.0 slash 24 why this IP range because when we create our subnet we have to choose this IP range okay so this firewall rule means any resources in our VPC is allowed to send any type of traffic to any other resources in our VPC okay for security reason it prefer to maybe edit this uh, VPC or, or maybe not choose it and create a specific uh, firewall rules because for security reason we believe in micro segmentation which mean allow only the traffic needed uh, by each VM in the in and outside the, the direction uh, for each uh, for each VM so maybe we don't need to allow uh, all this IP range we maybe allow a specific range in uh, the IP range of our VBC and also we can choose a specific board so uh, maybe we, we choose board 80 uh, maybe we choose uh, uh, another board and if you want uh, to allow specific board in the UDB we can choose it click on UDB and specify the board and also we can allow allow other other protocol as well if we need okay again uh, for security reason it's prefer to create the firewall rules that representing our need because maybe uh, these rules may be give more uh, uh, allow more uh, give uh, a lot of allow to the outside resources to speak to our VBC resources okay so let's see what firewall rules we have now actually now because we have one VBC till now we don't create uh, click on the create VBC in the uh, previous uh, window we can see here we have four firewall rules in the default VBC it's important to have the naming convention so uh, starting the firewall uh, rule name by the name of the VBC so all these one are in the in the default VBC and from the name I can understand uh, what it makes so default allow ICMB it means it allows the ICMB from outside the wallet to our resources uh, this is allows the remote desktop from outside uh, to our resources and uh, this one also uh, allow SSH from all the IP in the wallet to our resources and uh, this one allows the ICMB sorry allow all the internal traffic inside or uh, our uh, our our resources so it allow all the ports of the TCP and all the ports of uh, UDB and also allow ICMB uh, because this is the default network we don't create the default network and it's created and when it created uh, these four uh, firewall rules are created by default we can maybe remove them or disable them uh, but uh, as we, we said before for security region security reason we have to create our VBC uh, in uh, for production environment and choose the, the subnet that are suitable to our uh, workload and choose the firewall rules uh, in our uh, environment that is suitable to our case and again it's very important for micro segmentation to allow only the traffic that needed by each VM in the in and the out direction uh, if we try to create a new firewall we can go here we can uh, have a name to it we can default allow in to HTTP 
so I allow uh, in the end direction to HTTP it's in the default network and also there is a priority which is specifying which uh, uh, firewall rules are uh, uh, are uh, do it uh, first uh, before the other when we the number of the priority is smaller this means uh, these firewall rules have a higher priority so it uh, works first before the other uh, firewall rules the direction uh, I will choose in because in the naming we, we, we choose uh, the word in and we will allow when we allow we have three options first option is all instance in the network this means I am allowing the traffic to all the resources in our VBC network okay maybe for security re reason maybe not the first the best practice so we can choose to specific target uh, tags so in this case I will maybe write HTTP so what does it mean this mean uh, the traffic will be allowed to the machine that have uh, this tag so maybe in our uh, VBC resources we have uh, a lot of VMs some of them are web servers and we need to allow the traffic to these web servers so when we created the VMs we will give them uh, the, the tag HTTP so the, the, the traffic the HTTP traffic are allowed to go to these VMs that have uh, the uh, target tag HTTP also we have a third choice which is uh, specifying surface account this means this traffic the outside traffic will be allowed to the machine that have a specific surface account so I can uh, go here and choose which service account I will uh, choose this means the traffic will be allowed to the machine that have uh, this specific surface account for security reason the preferred option is the third one because first it is specifying which machine we will allow the traffic to and also because creating surface account and assign it to the VM require privilege and if you compare uh, these two adding uh, tag to machine it's uh, easy for a lot of the console user to add tagging to the, uh, the VMs so for security reasons the best practice is to choose a uh, surface account uh, then we are uh, the source filter so maybe I choose IB uh, version 4 ranges so I will allow all the IB in the world uh, to send the traffic to our uh, VBC resources that have this surface account okay we have here a second uh, filter if we need and also another uh, destination filter if we need we can go to the last thing here which which board which surface we will allow we can choose 80 so this mean I'm allowing only TCB uh, port 80 and also this way I can choose uh, the HTTPS as well uh, so I am choosing this board if we want a UDB we can click here and also write the board that we need and also I want to let you know this this way uh, we mean we are allowing uh, this range of board not only two board by writing a dash in between the, the board numbers we are allowing a range of, of board and lastly we, we have uh, to create here to create the, the, the rule and also for security reason it's very fair only to use our uh, the HTTPS the board of uh, 443 which is the board of the HTTPS uh, maybe we use the uh, 80 in demo or something like that uh, I hope uh, this helped you in your study uh, thank you very much for your time and see you soon.